Everything in life is better when shared. In this Bardeen tutorial, I'm going to show you how to share your playbooks with your community, or say on Twitter, or with your colleagues with a few clicks. So for that, I have my first playbook. Here we have it. It's going to scrape this LinkedIn profile page, obviously my page, and it's going to edit to a Google Sheet. Because you're a pro and you want to share playbooks that you've just created with your friends and colleagues, you know that you can open Bardeen with a shortcut, option B. Let's collapse the view and let's just click on the card and see what happens. So with one click, I'm going to get all of this information extracted and edit to the sheet that's called prospects. Let's click on it. And here we are inside Google Sheets. Here is the contact information. So what happens if you now do the following? I can go ahead and click on share this playbook. This is how you share playbooks. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. And I want to show you uh, the problem that we're going to face in a second. So there was a link generated. I'm going to copy uh, this uh, this link. Then let's go ahead and open my demo account. So it's a different account over there. I'm going to initiate Bardeen and I'm going to paste this link in my browser. And I'm going to try to run this playbook. Let's go ahead and try this playbook and it's going to be uh, saved over here. It says, where do you want to run this playbook? Because this playbook runs on a LinkedIn profile page. I'm going to pick, uh, let's pick a random one. So this one is the uh, Pascal's link. This is from which the scraper template was created. And then uh, from here, we're going to run this automation. I'm already logged in, the automation is running and it's going to try to add information to a Google Sheet, but obviously this account doesn't have access to the Google Sheet that's called Prospects. And uh, that's why sharing this way doesn't really work uh, because in my playbook that I originally created, I have a Google Sheet already inside. So let's open it in the builder and take a look at the guts. We have the scraper action, we have the Google Sheets action. So over here it says, hey, add the information to the prospect sheet. If you do not have that prospect sheet shared, then nothing is going to happen and people are going to get a little frustrated that you're sharing something that doesn't work. So we want to prevent that. And in order for us to do this, we're going to be using the magical argument. Let's clear this. And the magical argument is called ask me when I run this playbook. So it's going to ask you for an argument to be configured every time you run this. Uh, we're going to call it uh, Google, uh, let's call it Google Sheet. So the information is going to get added there. Let's click on done. And you can use commands or you can just create new columns and map the data. For Google Sheets, it's very easy to just map the data coming from the scraper. So it's a table and we're going to directly link it to uh, whatever spreadsheet is provided. So let's pick that action. And let's click on done, uh, just like this. So now there's an argument. Let's click on uh, done again. There is an argument. So when you run this playbook like this, it says, oh, which Google Sheet do you want to add the information to? And this is exactly what you want to share with uh, another, another person. So let's go ahead and share this playbook this time. So I'm going to share this updated playbook and we have the link and then I can also uh, add a little bit of additional information about the playbook. I can create a Loom video. Uh, let's go and do exactly this. So I have a shortcut for the Loom video. Uh, hey there, this playbook is going to copy information from a LinkedIn profile page to a Google Sheet of your choice. Have fun. Uh, that's our Loom video. So we're still rolling on, up all, on all fronts. I'm going to uh, get the link. Let's uh, open Bardeen with option B shortcut. Uh, go ahead and go to the sharing part. Paste the link over here and then say something. So enjoy this amazing, awesome uh, playbook. It will add LinkedIn profile pages to sheets. Cheers. Okay. So this is our playbook description. There's our video. Uh, let's uh, save and close. And let's go back to our different profile. So we have uh, this profile and their different account. So let's do this. Let's refresh. And here we have our updated playbook. Let's click on try it. And this time it's going to ask us which sheet to add the information to. And this is exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, we can create a new sheet. I'm going to type new and create a sheet with the title um, awesome prospects. All right. 
and uh, here you can remember the input. This is really cool. So instead of you running the playbook and having to specify the spreadsheet every time, uh, you had the convenience of saving the input. So you can save this Google Sheet so it runs exactly like I showed you in the first case, where you cannot really share a playbook with a Google Sheet baked in, but the other person, the first time they run it, they'll be able to specify that spreadsheet to be remembered. So let's click on save and run this playbook. And it obviously needs to be run on a page that can be scraped. So we're going to pick that uh, Pascal LinkedIn uh, page from here once one more time. And let's watch the magic happen. It's going to collect all of the information and boom, a new sheet was created and all of Pascal's information was also saved uh, to Google Sheet, how awesome it is. Again, all you want to do is go to the builder use that ask me every time argument instead of specifying a database, a project or something that is uh, personal to you. Let's take this idea a step further and think if you are the one receiving a shared playbook and you've saved the input, how do we change one? So in order for you to do this, you're going to open Berdeen one more time. And uh, over here, there are more options and you can say edit inputs or reset inputs. If you reset inputs, it goes back to whatever arguments that were asked in the beginning, or you can just go ahead and edit inputs. Uh, here you have the existing inputs you had. Let's delete this and let's go ahead and add information to um, uh, actually let's add information to awesome prospects so um, as you saw the first time I ran it and I saved the inputs uh, it said create a new spreadsheet every time whereas we actually need to specify an existing one uh, we didn't want to create one every single time we run it and right now it's actually correct so awesome prospects uh, let's click on save so it was saved I'm going to go now to my LinkedIn profile page and I'm going to run this automation from there. Okay, so it's going to add this information to an existing spreadsheet, uh, this time with one click like we did before. Boom. So now we have two entries. This is how it's done. Enjoy sharing awesome automations with people and helping others save their precious time. The only resource you cannot replenish. Make sure to check out the general tutorial about how to use Berdeen up next here.